sunshines! Today's video is my May wrap up and June TBR as well as sort of kind of a haul video. Okay, so the first book that I finished up in May is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I really liked that this was my first Rainbow Rowell book. It was really sweet. I love the way that she wrote from both of their perspectives, and I thought it was really great that Eleanor and both, actually Eleanor and Park, weren't your typical, like, teenager tropes. It really felt like being young and in love and there's all these emotions and everything is so big, everything is so huge, you know? This isn't too much of a spoiler, but it didn't end like in a happily ever after kind of way. It was a great ending, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like a fairy tale happily ever after ending and I liked that a lot. So another book that has been on my TBR for a while now that I finally just got around to reading is Can't Look Away by Donna Cooner. This book follows a girl called Tori Gray and she is a YouTuber. She posts mostly beauty fashion haul videos on her channel and it was interesting. I was drawn to it because of the cover as well as because of the topic, obviously, and it was really interesting. Um, I don't know how long ago this was written. 2014, so it's very current. The way that Donna Cooner writes about YouTube fame is very interesting. Tori Gray is definitely popular, but the way that Donna Cooner captures the celebrity almost of her as a character, I didn't find really believable, um, which is difficult. And the main problem that the characters encounter in the very beginning of the book is the death of her sister. And so that's kind of what this whole thing revolves around. And so just diving in at that point, I didn't find her YouTube fame to be very believable. Um, she went to school, and, like everybody knew who she was, and she was super popular, and like everybody loved that she was on YouTube and wanted her recommendations and wanted to be in all of her videos. And I'm not sure that I really believed that. I mean, maybe a little bit. I don't know. And all the titles of the chapters are pretty cheesy. They have this like quote from Tori Gray, Beauty Stars 15, things that she said in videos, I guess. And then the chapter titles are like Beat the Blues and Learn Fresh Beauty Tips. So they're like video titles might be. So I don't know. I, I didn't always find that to be super applicable. I might have to do a review on this book just kind of on its own because of its topic. but. It was interesting, it was not my favorite book by any means, like it was definitely a can do without kind of book, but I had to read it because, you know, YouTubers and stuff. And it was about YouTubers, it was about YouTubers, it was about us, so I had to read it and I had to know how Donna Cooner was representing us. So yeah, probably more to come on this later. Not my favorite. I have some thoughts, but it wasn't the worst. Another book I finished up this month, I started and finished this month, is This One Summer by the Tamaki siblings. I really, really liked it. I talked about this book in my May Rain or Shines video. Um, yeah, I loved that it was like a snapshot of a moment in time. I really liked it. The illustrations are just really lovely. They're just beautiful, and I love that it's all done in this sort of purple color. I really liked it. And now, drum roll please, a book I purchased and it was bad that I purchased it because my original goal was not to buy anything until my TBR was finished. I'm so close. I'm looking over there and I count eight books left on my TBR out of like 28. I have just, I have smashed this, you guys. So this book I bought and it was just, I was allowed to buy it. And that is The Air by Kiara Cass. You guys saw me talk about this in my Saturday, like week in my life videos probably. I was reading it, I read it, I have some thoughts, I have some feelings. Adolin is awful. I really do not like her at all. There will be a review coming on this book um, because I did not review this election series like I meant to, so I have a lot of things to say about this book. Stay tuned for that, but I read it. It's over. That I need the last book and I need it soon. Three other books that I finished this month are volume one through three of Yotsuba. Actually, not all the way of three. <laughs> volume one, two, and part of three uh, of Yotsuba. This is a 12 graphic novel manga series. I really, really love it. I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it for my sister, it's gonna be awesome, but those are some other books that I finished this month, and I'm probably gonna crush quite a few more before and during Hawaii. 
Okay, so my June TBR is kind of a two-parter. I have a couple of books that I want to crush that have been on my TBR for a little while, and then I also kind of did a bad thing. So the first two books that I just want to crush because they've been on my TBR for a while, and I just am really, I've been eager to read them for a while, and it's time, is Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley. Brian Lee O'Malley wrote the Scott Pilgrim books, so this is his other book, his newest graphic novel, and I'm really curious to read this. I know I'm so behind the times, but I've had it forever, like since it came out, I just haven't read it yet. Also, I have Uglies by Scott Westerfield. Uh, this is one of Christina's favorite books. She highly recommended it to me. It seems like a good place to start with Scott Westerfield, so I'm excited to try it and read it, um, and then read the other ones as well. Now this is the part that I was bad because I had this rule for myself that I wasn't gonna buy any books until I got through my TBR. Broke that rule with the air because obviously I had to read it, okay? I just had to get it and read it. But also, there was a ginormous book outlet sale happening. So I bought some books from Book Outlet. I don't even entirely remember what I got, so we're gonna open this up and we're gonna see together. Okay, here we go. Oh, they're wrapped very nicely. I think all of these books were $5 and under. Maybe one of them was like seven or $8, but most of them were $5 and under, which I could not pass up that price. Okay, so the first book is Landline by Rainbow Rao. I've heard really great things about this book. So I had to get it. Most of you probably already know what Landline is about too, but it's essentially about this woman whose marriage is on the rocks and she ends up finding a way, a telephone, to communicate with her husband in the past. And it's very interesting just about that. It's definitely an adult novel, which I'm really excited for, an adult novel. Um, I like new adult, I like young adult, but I've been reading a lot of young adults, so reading an adult novel or a new adult novel or any other genre is just really refreshing. Speaking of Rainbow Rowell, Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. Really excited to read this book. And you guys probably already know what Attachments is about too, but it's essentially about these two friends who know somebody is monitoring their email at work, but they don't really take it seriously. And they send each other hilarious emails back and forth, back and forth, and uh, it turns into a romance, I think, not between these two women, but between someone else who is eavesdropping on their email conversations. Because I have the other three, I also got Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Most of you guys know what Fangirl is about already, but it's about a girl who writes fan fiction online. So I'm really interested to see how this goes because I love books that talk about like who we are and the world that we live in. This one I've heard really mixed things about. Some of my friends really like it and most of them aren't the biggest fans, so I can't wait to weigh in. A few other books that I got because they just looked interesting. Um, one of them is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I've heard really good things about this book and I really just, I am interested to read it. Basically, I think she writes love letters to all the boys that she's loved before and she keeps them, she doesn't mail them, but they're kind of for herself to kind of like flesh out feelings and history. Another good book I got because of the title and because of the cover, it's kind of a short read. It's about 230 pages or so is called Ten White Geese. It's a novel by Gerbrand Backer. Essentially this woman rents a farm in Wales and uh, fleeing Amsterdam, confessing to an affair, she finds ten geese and one by one they disappear. So it's just kind of just this interesting story about this woman and these geese that she finds and compassion and beauty and the world around us and kind of finding yourself while losing yourself, I think. I'm interested to read that one. It was kind of like a wild card book that I picked up. This is actually also a, a wild card book that I picked up. It's called Trouble, and it's by Non Pratt. It's essentially about these two teenagers, uh, young adults maybe, and the girl finds out that she's pregnant. And this guy that she meets who is kind of gonna help her through it, and their friendship. I also love the cover and the typography, and it's great. So I got all six of these books for $38.68, which is incredible. This is my first book outlet purchase and haul. $38 is what I would have barely spent on two of these books. So that is just incredible to me that I got six of them for that price. I will definitely be ordering from book outlet again, but I'm super excited to dive into a lot of these books. Please let me know in a comment down below which book you're most excited about hearing about, which book you're most excited about maybe hearing a review on, or my thoughts on. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this
this video up to this point. If you have, I so appreciate it. Oh, also, just super quick before I forget, I have some pretty exciting news, and that is, as of this video, I am able to offer you guys a free 30-day trial and free audiobook on audible.com. So I am really, really excited. You guys all know that I love physical books. I love having a physical book in my hands, on my shelf, etc. However, there is totally something to be said for Audible being accessible. You can listen to them while you're doing other stuff. You can listen to them on a long commute. You can't read on a long commute if you're driving. Anyway, so I thought this was really, really exciting. I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am. There are so many great titles available on audible.com. Definitely a lot of the books in my TBR and my haul are there and they would be great options for your first audible.com book. The link if you guys are interested in getting your free audiobook is audibletrial.com slash Mallory of Sunshine. I will be sure to put a link down below as well. Please leave a comment down below letting me know which book you guys got as your free audible book. I can't wait to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Countries in the World Showcase in Epcot are actually up cats. My, my counter argument to that would be if you were living inside that world then you probably would be able to read books inside that world. Like